mute everybody. Greetings, beloveds. Mm. Mm. It is humorous to us to look down and to see. <laughs> the images that are created by the mind are indeed as illusory it has been said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, beloveds. Do you allow yourself to see your own beauty? Do you look upon another and say that this one is beautiful and this one is ugly? What aspect of you judges the beauty of another? What aspect of you judges what is perfection? What is it within you that causes you to look upon another and say, I do not accept what it is that I see. I do not accept what it is that I feel from this being. If you can bring yourselves to the true understanding of beauty and of love, you will see that each and every moment of existence is magnificent, is beautiful, and is pure. Pure love and pure light. But you have allowed shadow to come in. You allow your thoughts to act like clouds against the sun. And you say, it is all dark, it is all gray, it is all dreary. There is no hope. And you are, of course, kidding yourselves. So it is with beauty. Can you listen with an ear to hear the love that comes through in the words that are being spoken as you all make your way through this journey together, as you speak the words that were spoken to our beloved as he channeled us. You allow yourselves to have the experience of having my presence be with you. Find courage, beloveds. You will not be judged, you will be loved. You will be appreciated for the gifts that you give by speaking our words. And if you find that you must flow into more than one month so that all may have an opportunity to speak, allow this to occur. Do not be rigid with each other, beloveds. Allow yourselves to find joy. Look for and seek happiness. It was spoken to drink more water, especially for those of you who do channel beings of higher frequency. Allow yourselves to stay supremely saturated for there is a sense of dehydration that is indeed existent in many of you. Find sources of water with higher frequencies. Send love to your water before you drink it. Bless it. Bless what you eat. Bless what you drink. Bless what you wear. Bless where you live. Bless what you do. Bless what you think. Bless whom you love. Bless whom you hate. Bless yourselves. For every time that you bless, every time that you pray for, you send a higher level frequency. Every time that you curse, every time that you malign, every time that you gossip, every time that you complain, every time you have thoughts of revenge, every time that you think something was done to you unjustly, 
you bring the clouds, you bring the shadow, you bring the darkness, beloveds. Look for the beauty, look for the light, look for the perfection that exists in all things. For they are created with the mind that is the mind of the creator. What ye seek, ye shall find every single time. We have been speaking with each of you more and more, some consciously, some not quite yet. You are needed at this time, beloveds. It is necessary what it is that you are bringing through with your consciousness. There has been a ramping up, if you will, of energies. And it is necessary for you to bring to the forefront the best of you. Ask in any circumstance, beloved, is there a way in which I could think this differently? Is there a way in which I could feel this differently? Is there a way in which I could accept this differently than, when, than the way that I do? If you find that as you are thinking and as you are feeling and as you are doing, there is not a sense of joy. Do what brings you joy, beloveds. And if it does not, stop doing it. This may sound radical. If you are not happy, do what makes you happy. How could it possibly make sense for you to do that which continues to make you unhappy? And ultimately, happiness is not the goal, beloveds, but an acceptance of the truth of you. That happiness is a key. Allow yourselves to forgive. And as you forgive, there is a moment of feeling released. There is a moment of feeling unlocked from the prison that you have placed yourselves within of your own thinking. And bring humility to all that you do. For humility is indeed a key of unlocking the ego. Make apologies, beloved. Apologies to yourself. What do you still need to forgive yourself for? Where do you still hold yourself as guilty? Where do you still hold shame? Where do you still hold regret? Allow all of this to be relinquished, dear ones. There is a question among you. Who is it that comes forth at this time? Can I ask a question, Jesus? Of course, beloved. I, um, I'm struggling with opening my crown chakra and I'm just needing some input on what, do I just tell it to open or can you give me some instruction? Have you ever attempted to tell a cat what to do? <laughs> Not usually go yes. well. <laughs> Beloved, understand that there are protection devices and mechanisms that were put in place by you through many incarnations. You are in a course of training that will help you to relieve exactly this circumstance. You will find a technique that will allow you to recount the device that was put in place and it shall be relinquished. And we shall speak with you of this in greater detail when we gather with you today. We look forward to this journey with you and the others. Add more love, beloved. The greatest solvent that you have for the undoing of any dynamic 
where you feel yourselves blocked, where you feel yourselves thwarted, where you feel frustration, is to surround this circumstance with love. Whatever it is, it is much like adding light and the light will indeed dispel the darkness. Send love to your crown chakra, beloved. Know that it has been protecting you from what you perceived as harm. And when you grant yourself back the mastery with the full use of your God-given abilities, when you understand the true use of the energy centers that are called the chakras, as Lynn and I have been playing with the cards and the mudras, you will be given techniques, you will be given tools that have been tried and true for helping each of you to have full facility of how to direct light through each of the energy centers within your body. As they start to begin to transfer into the crystalline state from whence they came, you will find that there is indeed a cleansing and a balancing that will be necessary. Add more love, beloved. Breathe light into and through each of these centers. There are many more than just the seven that exist within the human physical structure, but it is through the recognition and the blending and the balancing of these that you shall come to find the highest resolution of consciousness. Add more love. We thank you for your question, dear one. And we leave you all with the words of love, knowing that we are indeed where you are at each and every moment, beloveds. You need only turn to us for guidance, for counsel, and for direction. Allow yourselves the moment to pause and release yourselves from the constant chronic egoic thinking through which you extend your existence and allow yourself to pause and ask, call upon us, call upon the Holy Spirit, call upon your higher self, something other than the nattering, chatting mind that you have starved. It is an aspect of loving every aspect of you that will grant to you the peace it is not about fighting the ego, beloveds. It is about taming and training the ego, the mind that is being trained through the steps of the lessons. Our beloved has begun a journey with this beloved oracle. The words that she is bringing through has love painted all over it. Allow yourselves to listen. Allow yourselves to paint yourselves with a brush filled with golden light and love. For that is indeed the truth of you. And in that moment of recognition, you will truly come into yourselves as the godlike beings that you are. We will speak with you again. We will speak with you in our groupings. We are indeed enjoying this journey with you, beloveds. Thank you for saying yes and coming forth. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your hearts and thank you for your forgiveness that you share. For there is a frequency of love that is being emitted from all of you that is impacting and affecting entire universe. There will come a moment of recognition when you will come to see the truth of who you are and you will smile, you will giggle with glee to recognize your own true countenance. We love you and we will speak with you again. <laughs>